basketball. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Chris Weber. Ali LaForce joins us as well. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some stats for Julius Randle. He's been playing a larger role in their offense over the past five games. And we see that in his usage rates, which has gone up during that stretch. We'll see if they continue to lean on him here tonight. We're just about ready for tip-off. But first, let's hear from the sideline. Allie, it's all yours. VA technology is moving faster than ever. The new thing? Collectible highlights trading online. The players are taking notice. Shooting guard CJ McCollum said, quote, a lot of players are inquiring about it. I've grown closer to the non-fungible tokens, trying to figure out what moments I should buy. Guys, he's a believer. Boy, he is a big thinker, no doubt about that. Good reporting there, Alan. And Grant, no shortage of athleticism on display tonight. Something you'd know a little bit about. Well, you know, B.A., in my younger days, I might have caught a few guys, but maybe we'll see a few highlights tonight, too. And now the opening lineup for New York. Barrett plays the small forward with Randall in at the four. Evan Fournier is out there with Alec Burks. And it's Robinson in at the center position. And for Memphis, Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. John ja Moran is out there with Desmond Bain. And it's Williams in at the three, the small forward. Pass to Bain. Williams with it. Guarded by Barrett. Williams misses. And here's New York now. They come into this one having outplayed the Mavericks last time out. And guys, those road games are never easy. But they had a solid strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Well, staying with your game plan is so important, especially when you are away from your home arena. Here's Morant. After the basket by New York. Can't hit from in close. For three, Barrett. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Nice assist. Randall keeping his eyes up, playing in selfish basketball. About a minute played here so far in the first. And then Morant with the dunk. <laughs> I tell you, a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate. Ha, it doesn't make it easy, does it? And guys, it's clear, though, he enjoys showing off his athleticism. The D can't give him these opportunities. And it's the Knicks with the ball. The Grizzlies making their last shot. And Alec Burks gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. to Bain. Now Williams. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Back to Bain. And he drives in. Drops in the layup for two. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. <laughs> yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. And see, Webb, you look at Desmond Bain out of college. An NBA-ready physique Desmond right out of the Bain. gates. And his game That's is NBA-ready as well. He's played significant minutes already. He's a reliable perimeter threat. Outside Fournier. Back to Burks. Clock at four. And again, New York with the triple. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. With the teardrop and the layup by Moran. Moran's got his second bucket on the night. Just another example of why you run plays through Moran. I mean, he makes great decisions with the ball in his hands. Pass to Burks. The three. Adams grabs the miss. Memphis trailing here. Outside Moran. And it's all tied up. Moran's got six. The Knicks have gone three of four to get things going. Fournier with the ball. Guarded by Moran. Banked it in off the glass. They've come out with guns blazing. Four for five from the field. They've got the D really. 
Ryan against Burks. Up top, Moran. Really played well against New Orleans in his last game. And that's a foul called on Evan Fournier. That's his first foul. Jackson finds Williams. Pass to Bain. Just five on the clock. The shot, no good. New York has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Here's Barrett. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. One thing you know when defending Barrett, he wants to get to the rim every chance he can. And you know, Grant, on his attacks to the basket, Barrett is looking for points, a foul, or both. Oftentimes, initiating the contact, too. As he gets more established in the league, he'll get more calls to go his way. He misses the free throw. And deep into the season now, Grant, are you noticing any trends that may just become a permanent part of the game? Well, I mean, of course, B.A., the fast pace of the NBA is here to stay. And players of all positions are continuing to develop deeper range from the three-point line. He hits the second from the line. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Moran. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. Much more than just the perimeter threat. Morant loves to sneak inside and do damage. Outside Barrett. On the wing, Burks. Taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. And the Knicks miss again. Even when the D is playing off of him, the mid-range jumper shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. And that's a foul called on Evan Fournier. That'll be a second foul of the game. Rose has checked in for New York. Here's Morant. Give him eight points now. Pass to Adams. Williams on the wing. Guarded by Barrett. Five to shoot. Here's Adams. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. For New York, they've gone four of six in the first quarter. Randall, the pass to Rose. Outside Burks. Inside. Here's Robinson. That shot, no good. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. They beat the Knicks during their last encounter in New York. They were so consistent from the three-point range in that one. And that's a nice weapon to have as a visiting team. And they were connecting. And when they're connecting like that, they're hard to beat. Their accuracy from outside, just incredible. Shot is good by Barrett. Oh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition of dangerous. Morant, the pass to Jackson. Back to Morant. to Bain. Over Rose. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. All right, let's have a look at which team scored the most second chance points in the second half of the season. Number one, the Grizzlies. Second half of the season, they've made a concerted effort to compete on the offensive glass. And you see it in the numbers. Outside Burks. Robinson finds Rose. Step back shot. Grizzlies with the rebound. Outside, Williams. Pass to Moran. The floater, and the layup is up and in. Morant's got 10 points. It shows great imagination offensively. Morant has so many tricks up his sleeve. Here's Barrett. And here's Robinson. To the inside. 
Here's Burks. Off the left rim and out. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Pass to Moran. With some arc. And it's good on the layup. 12 points for him. Man, I love watching this kid play. Morant, he's just electric at the offensive end. He's having the night. Now here's Barrett. He has seven. And here's Robinson. Rose outside. Oh, the swap by Adams. Here's Bain. Over to the left wing. Moran finds Jackson. Over Rose. Jackson can't get it to go. For a player who's almost a sure thing to score in tight, that was a stunt. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And we've seen Randall Flores with more responsibility. He's in his prime and playing his best ball right now. Shooting for New York, Julius Randle. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Randall. So Memphis going with an almost entire new group here. Tillman's checked in for Adams. Anderson comes in for Jackson. Conchar, he's checked in for Williams. And it's Jones in for Bain. And Randall drops them both. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Randall against Anderson. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. And the Knicks call time here. And he's one of those stat sheet stuffers. Kyle Anderson at 6'9", gives you rebounding, playmaking, ran a little bit of everything. I mean, the combination of size with skill is what makes him special. And his wingspan helps him impact the game in so many ways. Gibson's checked in for Julius Randle. All right, a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last few months for Evan Fournier. And he's been on a roll during these last few months. Getting better in terms of scoring the ball and proving to be a key part of this team as we move farther along in the season. Here's Reddish. There's the triple. Jones grabs the board. For Memphis, they've got 8 of 15 shots to go. And that misses. That would have put him up. you got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. No, you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Oh, stolen by Moran. To the middle. That's tipped. Here's Reddish. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Anderson. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Melton, he's checked in for Memphis. The Anthony Melton.
Rose outside. Pass to Reddish. Clock at six. Memphis foul. John Carthon. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. Rose, left side. Oh, a denial. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. Shot clock at six. Pass to Reddish. Such a versatile defender. Anderson's lit and basketball IQ. That's what allows him to guard multiple positions. Reddish misses. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. And they take the lead. And the Grizzlies lead by two. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Here's Rose. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. One thing about Derrick Rose that's never changed over the years, Grant, is his ability to come through in the clutch. When a big basket is needed, he's the guy you want on the court. Well, how many times have you seen it? End of game situation, Rose in an isolation set. And even against a double team, he finds a way to shake free and get the bucket. As dependable as it gets when the pressure's on. And that one falls for Rose. I mean, and the resiliency Rose has shown throughout his career is inspiring. I mean, he's someone that just universal is loved by the fans of this game. Now here's Melton. A 14-point game for him in the win against New Orleans. Pass to Anderson. And down it goes. Two points. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. Quickly against Melton. Quickly drives in. Can't cash it in from close range. Memphis leading. Here's Conchar. Drills it from deep. Oh, this is the attitude Anderson brings. A selfless player who loves giving it up to his open guys. New York has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Pass to Reddish. Noel with it. And it's Tillman with a rebound. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Noel against Melton. Here's Tillman. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Two shots. He's off on the first. Clark is checked in for Anderson. And the second free throw is good. New York trailing. Pass to Reddish. There's a minute 26 left in the first. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Brandon Clark. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Grizzlies. They've been effectively aggressive here in the first half. Driving to the hoop with authority and getting a lot of their points right at the rim. 
Another thing they're having success with tonight is the mid-range jump shot. It's been really falling for them. And the first one at the line is good. So hits one and misses one at the line. And here's Memphis now. They're on a 14-6 run. And it's stolen by Noel. Now Rose. We've got 108 left in the first quarter. Jones with the block. Down low. Oh, Clark with the slam. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Now here's Gibson. 11 points for him last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Back to Rose. Just five to shoot. Let's a floater go. And the bucket is good. Rose has got his second basket of the night. Calling his own number. Rose with the hoop. One of the best we've seen operate the two-man game. Jones with the ball. Picked up by Rose. Jones, his shot is good. Boy, absolutely no rim protection. Leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Here's Rose. Getting his third shot in seven looks. Look at the muscles of Rose right there. I mean, that's just an outstanding job. Accepting the physicality and pummeling his way through. Clark outside. With the drive. The shot misses. Ja Morant. He's feeling it tonight. And has been the driving force for Memphis. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. More 2K action in just a moment. for the former league MVP, Derrick Rose, and plenty of experience when it comes to winning games. We know what we have to do, and we know when we get out there that it's one goal, and that's to go out there and win the game by any means. We know that we play well together. We just got to come out aggressive. Brad, it's great to see Rose still contributing after all these years. Oh, and some stars, they can't adjust to a changing role like he has but give Rose credit for adapting and remaining effective in this league. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you think, guys? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Showing no mercy right now. The shooters look frustrated seeing so many of their shots get stifled. So on the floor for the Knicks, we've got Cam Reddish. Nerland's Noel out there with Todd Gibson. Then there's Emmanuel quickly, and it's Fournier in at the two. Fournier with the bucket. I mean, what is there to say about that finish other than why? Wow. And Melton, here we go. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Here's quickly. Knocks it loose. Gibson. Oh! He dunks it home. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, B.A. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. Now here's Melton. Six points for him. Pass to Clark. And he makes it on the layup. Clark's gotten his second bucket of the game. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Quickly passes to Fournier. Now Gibson. Melton covers. Gibson, no good. For Memphis, they've gone three of three to begin the second. Pass to Conchar. 
We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, Clark with the slam. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a 10-point pass. Here's Reddish. Back to quickly. Fires for three. Conchar pulls it in. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. Jones up top. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Stolen by Melton. And here's Jones, taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. Pass to Melton. Tillman in the post. Fournier covering. Tillman misses. The Knicks have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Quickly from outside. That shot missing. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Well, I'm surprised he's still out there. He's been invisible at the offensive end all game long. Shots blocked. Uh, out of bounds as Memphis ball. keeps possession. The Grizzlies <laughs> making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. The Knicks making a switch here. And in the league today, we've got some all-time greats playing out on the wing. But who do you think the best wing in the NBA is right now, Grant? Oh, boy, oh, boy. You're trying to get me in trouble. That's a tough one. I mean, you have LeBron, you have Giannis, you have Kawhi. KD, all of them are elite. All of them are champions. So if I had to choose, uh, I guess I'll go with, I don't know. They're just all great. New York has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Outside Burks. Shot to end the cold streak. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Good anticipation and instincts. Jackson, he's established himself as a quality shot blocker. Knocked away. And it's stolen by Noel. To the paint. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. Outside Jones. Pass to Jackson. Tipped away. Dives for it. New York trailing. Burks passes to Barrett. John A big group substitution here for Memphis. Adams checked in for Clark. Williams comes in for Conchar. Bain, he's checked in for Melton. And it's Morant in for Jones. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Robinson, he's checked in for Noel. Outside Fournier. Outside Barrett. Six to shoot. Yep, that one goes. Barrett's got his third basket on the night right there. The Grizzlies have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Moran into the lane. Pass to Jackson. Williams on the wing. Moran against Burks. Now Adams. Back to Moran. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Moran's got 14. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Now here's Barrett. He's got nine. Randall inside. Pounded by Moran. Count it. One for one to start the game. They have no answer defensively inside. Moran finds Williams. And here's Jackson. Checked by Randall. Back to Williams. Got a piece of it. Adams, the pass to Williams. 
Here's Bain. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And the Grizzlies lead by six. Now here's Burks. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Dallas. And as good of a score as he was in that game, he was even a better passer. A lot of assists for him. On the wing, Bain, defended by Burks. Robinson against Moran. Pass to Jackson. Over Fournier. And there are the Grizzlies with another bucket. A versatile offensive skill set. Jackson has shown the ability to do damage from mid-range. Well, you hear the term wingspan more and more. You look at Jared Jackson Jr., 6'11". is his height is 7 foot 4. Fingertip to fingertip, that's his reach. And that reach enables him to be a major factor physically. Here's Morant. The Knicks making their last shot. And it's Memphis with another. All game long, he's been getting to his spots, and the defense has yet to adjust. Burks against Moran. Kicks it out to Barrett. Drives to the hoop. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Barrett's got 11 points. And in the past, we've heard the Chris Bosh comparisons for Jaron Jackson. C-Web, you buying that? Yeah, I see some similarities in the game. Jackson, a rangy, mobile defender at 6'11", with a nice face-up game. Bosh, maybe Serge Ibaka. Good comparison. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Pass to Jackson. Shoots over Burks. Carries it down low. Jackson's got four points in the quarter. Oh, great to see Jackson doing damage. An effective offensive player who knows his strengths. Burks passes to Barrett. Outside Robinson. Burks with it. Right side Barrett. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Anderson's checked in for Memphis. Rose has checked in for New York. Memphis leading. Here's Anderson. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Inside, kicks it out to Jackson. Here's Bain. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Knicks have gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. Barrett can't hit. Well, Memphis shooting around 60% in the second. An excellent number. And the basket by Bain. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the time. And here are the Knicks now. The Grizzlies making their last shot. His interior scoring is one of the things that drives their offense. Don't expect him to miss many at all. Here's Anderson. Rose grabs the board. New York has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. And Burks with the basket on the assist from Rose. Burks has got his second bucket of the night. Outside, Williams. Pass to Jackson. Here's Bain, guarded by Rose. Robinson with the block. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Jackson against Rose. Outside for Randall. Shot clock at five. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Randall's got six here in the quarter. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. Jackson finds Moran. Going inside. Robinson with the block. Rose outside. Outside Barrett. 110 left in the second. 
Back to Rose. Knocked loose. Here's Randall, and it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. And the Knicks making a switch here. Reddish is checked in. And the Grizzlies shooting 56% today. Up top, Anderson. Robinson defending. Yes, it's good. Anderson's got his third basket of the night. Attacking the heart of this defense. That's eight straight points inside. Barrett against Williams. That's two fouls in as many quarters. He may have to adjust his approach now. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Clark has checked in for Jackson. And it's Jones in for Moran. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. And it falls. Four for eight for him from the floor. Capable of scoring from anywhere on the court. Rose loves mixing it up inside and capitalizing. And so it's Memphis with it. They've led by as much as 10. They're fresh off a win against the Pelicans. And you'd have to think that luck played a part in that one. I mean, the opponent had an off night at the defensive end for sure. But you also got to give credit to the offense, too. I mean, they exploited every hole they saw in the defense. His first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, Kyle Anderson. Taking two shots. Free throw drops for Anderson. I mean, I, I think he's kind of a throwback kind of player, if you ask me. I mean, Anderson's nickname is Slow Mo because of his ability to slow the game down and pick the opponent apart. And Anderson drops them both. There's 18 seconds left in the second quarter. Now Rose, nine points in the game. Pass to Randall. Shoots over Anderson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they got to show some more aggression. And the first half now in the books. It's the Grizzlies up eight. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, Coach, this first half has been a struggle. What's been the problem? Lack of intensity. We're back on our heels. They're attacking us. We're not getting much done. Guys, they'll look to be the aggressor in the second half. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. It was all John Morant in the first quarter. He had 16 points and two steals. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how Memphis played? Their efforts in the paint have really paid dividends. It's been a focal point for them, not so much for the other team. It's been the difference in the game. And over to Kenny, what'd you think about New York? Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the defense. They wouldn't put a hand up, as my man used to say, hand down, man down. Oh, you got to get him some help. That pretty much covers everything. Shaq, you think they played their best? No way, no way. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. For those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. 
New York trailing. Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. John Moran is out there with Desmond Bain. And it's Williams in at the small forward position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Let the big man eat. Give it to Randall there, and he's locked in on scoring. Moran against Burks. Jackson outside. Pass to Bain. Poke loose. Four on the clock. Jackson against Randall. Shoots over Jackson. Randall can't hit. That's a nice defensive effort. Sticking right up on him. I mean, affecting the shot. Morant with it. Randall's in his pocket. Steps back and shoots. Here's Adams. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with the basket. Adams has got his first points of the night. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. Here's Moran into the lane. That shot off. So New York will take it the other way now. Fournier for three. Book it. And it's Randall with the assist. Three. Randall's got his fourth assist with that last one. But the D didn't do a good enough job on him. He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime on the defensive end. Well, he said jump with me if you want to go viral. Ja Moran with the explosiveness to live in the lane and the soar to the rack. And it's Randall with the jam. It's amazing how far Randall has come. I mean, from a role player to Buddy Star, and he's not done yet. Now here's Moran. 16 points for him. Uses the glass on the layup. Moran's got 18 points in the game. And relentless is Moran. Man, does he attack the paint, Chris? As fast as he is, he does a great job of using change of speed. He keeps the ball on a string, and when he gets it in close, watch out. He can finish any way he wants to. Fournier, and count it. Now five for seven. The Grizzlies have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. From 12 feet. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall outside. That's basket number six and eight tries. Oh, the big body of Randall using those broad shoulders to protect the ball in traffic. Here's Bain. Fournier covering. Jackson outside. Here's Adams. Robinson with the block. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Robinson. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Outside Morant. Five on the clock. Fires the three. It falls. And now he's 10 of 15 shooting. Nice work. I tell you what, when Morant hits this shot with consistency, it sets up everything else you're going to run. Kicks it out to Barrett. Back to Burks. Barrett against Williams. Puts it up. The shot by Fournier, no good. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebounding. Pass to Bain. Back to Moran. Shot from the wing. The rebound by Burks. Burks has got a rebound number five here tonight. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. I love how they've attacked the basket in this game. They've taken a very aggressive approach. Don't forget about their points in the paint either. Those have been huge.
The first free throw is good. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Tillman comes in for Adams. And it's Conchar in for Bain. Gibson's checked in for New York. Quickly comes in for Barrett. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. For Memphis, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. Morant, the pass to Jackson. Back to Morant. Driving inside. Morant with the slam! A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. Now here's Burks. Seven points in the game. Quickly outside. Buries it from three. Quickly's gotten himself on the board with a three there. What was the defense thinking? I mean, that's the wrong guy to leave open. Here's an eight-footer. Here's Conchar. Count the basket and the foul! It's on Alec Burks. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, John Conchar. At the line for one. New York has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Here's Fournier. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Tillman's got four rebounds now. Here's Williams. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Emmanuel quickly. Man, the defender really went after him. At the line for your Grizzlies, Zion Williams. At the line for two. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Williams. And Williams drops them both. New York has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Pass to Gibson. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Conchar. He has six. And again, Memphis no good. No, when the D forgets about him on the perimeter, they're playing with fire. Lucky they don't get burned here. And Burks gets it to go. Oh, I love it. He's working the ball down low. Always a good plan of attack. Burks against Moran. Basket's good. Moran's got nine points now in the second half. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Outside Fournier. Pass to Burks. And it's Tillman with a rebound. Tillman's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Conchar. Deflected! Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Anderson's checked in for Jackson. Melton comes in for Conchar. And it's Jones in for Moran. Noel, he's checked in for New York. Reddish comes in for Burks.
And the foul called on Emmanuel quickly. That's foul number two for him. Clark has checked in for Tillman. And a switch here also for New York. Julius Randle's checked in for Gibson. On the wing, Jones. Fournier covering. Up and in on the layup. Jones has gotten his second bucket. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Here's Fournier. Stolen by Melton. And the Grizzlies pushing it up now. Here's Williams. Finished off the break. And now a 12-point Memphis lead. This is intelligent basketball. Forcing a turnover and then immediately starting the fast break. It's quickly with a drive. Not going to go that time. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Pass to Melton. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range, the Knicks pull it in. Noel's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Reddish. Who poked away. Stolen by Anderson. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Williams punches it home. Oh, man. Great floor vision right there from Kyle Anderson. It allows him to spot his teammates left and right. To the inside. Stolen by Anderson. Down low. Here's Clark. Excellent D there from Noel for New York. They've gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Pass to quickly. Now here's Fournier. Shot clock at 5. To stop the run. Williams grabs the board. Memphis has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Shot from 12. It's rebounded by New York. Quickly outside. Pass to Reddish. And here is Noel. To the middle. The ball's knocked loose. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. So it's the Grizzlies now. Memphis shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. Now here's Melton. He's got six. Outside Jones. Mid's ball. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Baines checked in. Robinson, he's checked in for New York. Rose comes in for Fournier. Outside Jones. Pass to Bain. Six on the shot clock. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. New York's ball. Now a timeout called by New York. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Four rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about.
Cruz with it. Nine points in the game. Here he goes. Oh, no good again that time. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Outside Jones. Clock at six. Tries it from the top of the key. And that one hits the back iron. He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held them back as a team. Rose outside. Here's Robinson. Can't hit that one. Now Memphis takes it the other way. There's a minute 40 left in the third quarter. Here's Payne. Robinson with the block. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Rose. Adams checked in for Memphis. And a switch here also for New York. Barrett's checked in. Minute 32 left in the third quarter. Right side, Anderson. And out of bounds. The Knicks will take it. Knicks ball. Here's Barrett. 11 points in the game. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And yep, it's good. Barrett's got 13. Memphis has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Pass to Bain. Outside, Anderson. Now Adams from deep, Melton. Anderson, it's good on the putback. And the Grizzlies lead by 14. They're playing a lot more aggressively on the offensive boards in the second half, racking up a ton of second chance points. Here's Reddish. Here's the teardrop, and that's two points on the layup. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Outside Jones. Pass to Bain. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Barrett. And there's the foul. It'll go on Julius Randle. That's foul number two for him. Jackson, he's checked in for Anderson. Jackson Jr. And at this point, they're loving this big lead. Absolutely. And they haven't really faced a lot of resistance. Jones drives in over Rose. Can't hit from the low block. New York has gone two for two from deep here in the third. And it's New York scoring again. I mean, that's almost effortless for Rose. Defenses can't be pleased that they allowed that look. Outside Jones. With one on the clock. And so it's Memphis earning this break in the action. Up 10. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. This is where the NBA's headed. I mean, multi-dimensional big man. That was just a beautiful pass. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Well, the Grizzlies shooting around 50% in the game so far. So on the floor for New York. Inside, we have Randall and Robinson. Rose and Barrett pair up at the one and the two. And it's Reddish in at the three spot. Robinson with the block. Here's Rose. Randall outside over Jackson. Oh, and Jackson with the block. 
outside Jones. Pass to Bain. Jackson can't get it to go. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for them. And the shot goes in. The brutal strength of Randall allowing him to finish right there through clear contact. Here's Bain. And here's Melton. Jackson, right side. Back to Melton. Six to shoot. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. He's improving as a passer. You like to see Jackson share the ball and realize it when his guys are open. Outside Barrett. Pass to Robinson. Got it. Good job in the low post. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. The Grizzlies have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Melton with the ball. Randall's in his pocket. <laughs> Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. The coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy baskets like this. Here's Rose. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got four rebounds now. Outside Jones. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And now a 12-point Memphis lead. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, very aggressive. He takes on the challenge with no hesitation. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Jackson can't get it to go. The Knicks have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Randall, the pass to Barrett. Rose against Adams. Here's Randall. Pass to Barrett. Book it. And it's Randall with the assist. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. Here's Melton. He takes it in. It's hauled in by Reddish. And he's got to do a better job making the D pay for their mistakes. And he'll throw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Yeah, a strong move to the rack draws that foul. At the line for the Knicks, Cam Reddish. At the line for two. And he drops the first. Williams is checked in for Memphis. Ja Morant comes in for Jones. Fournier is checked in for New York. Burks comes in for Rose. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Memphis leading. Outside Morant. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Two points. That one goes. Morant's got 27 points. I mean, just an agile move by Morant down low. Working around the contact and getting it to go. Burks passes to Fournier. Pass to Barrett. All alone. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got five rebounds in the game. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And it's Fournier penetrating. Finds it again. Six for 12 and remaining assertive. Oh, that's not the kind of interior defense you want. Way too slow to protect the run. Pass to Bain. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. 
Morant's got three assists now in this one. Oh, the vision, the ability to throw every type of pass. I mean, Morant's already reached an elite level as a playmaker. Now here's Burks. Here's Reddish. Oh, and Jackson with the block. And now the Grizzlies on the run. Williams passes to Adams. Here's Bain. Pass to Moran. Takes the three. The Knicks pull it in. Fournier's got four rebounds now. Outside Barrett. Randall outside. Over Adams. No good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. They've led by as many as 14. Up top, Morant. Defended by Burks. Here's Payne. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Grizzlies lead by 10. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with the comfortable lead. Now a timeout called by New York. Coach really needs to get his guys fired up in attacking the glass. They're not putting up much of a fight, and it's led to way too many second-chance shots. Robinson, he's checked in for New York. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Hey guys, over the last break, I listened to Tom Thibodeau address the team. He let his guys know that he needs more from them to close this deficit. He said, quote, we have to get something started. I know we're behind, but you are capable of taking this game if you still want it. Okay, thanks, Ali. Burke's no good. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Knock loose. Outside Fournier, pass to Barrett. That one doesn't drop. Some solid defense from Williams. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Morant. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And now a 12-point Memphis lead. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Oh, that's just the mentality you have to have. Not wanting to give the opposition any hope of clawing back into this. Out of bounds. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. Here's Randall. To stop the drought. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's the combo of strength and suddenness. Hard not to foul Randall in there. At the line for the Knicks, Julius Randall taking two shots. down the first one. And Randall drops them both. The Grizzlies have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Pass to Bain. Inside. Looking to get back on track. And the nice bucket inside from Jackson. And the Grizzlies lead by 12. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. And he gets it to go. Here's Morant. There's the drive, and then Morant with the dunk. Looking for 
score his spots. Morant slithering around the court with the ball on the string. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. They needed that, and I love that he just did so for the lady. Shots good by Moran. And with the game he's having, there's no doubt he'll be the guy they lean on to protect the lead. Outside Barrett. Pass to Fournier. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's his second person foul. Third team foul. Shooting for New York. Evan Fournier. Two shots. And he makes a first. And that's good as he hits both shots. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Burks against Moran. Robinson with a steal. Three on three. Here's Randall. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. And it's Williams off the drive. Here's Jackson. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Fournier. Now here's Burks. Driving to the basket. Give him that one. Now shooting 5 for 11 from the floor. He's made the most of the halftime break. He shook off the problems he had in the first half. And he started to settle in. Jackson finds Moran. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists tonight. The Knicks have gotten 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Burks passes to Barrett. And here's Robinson. Pass to Burks. Shot clock at six. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his second person foul. 14 foul. At the line for the Knicks, Alec Burks. At the line for two. free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. I like that he's playing with the edge here in the second half. I mean, he didn't get to the line once in the first half. Moran against Burks. Moran into the lane. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Moran's got 12 points now in the quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Timeout called the Knicks. Boy, you got to like what John Moran has done in this game. He's been a thorn in their side all game. They'll probably use this timeout to change up their D. The system there and now, it just isn't getting it done. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Alec Burks. And he really made his presence felt on the inside. Just so active and looking all game long for openings. And he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop. New York has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Randall with it. Jackson in his pocket. 
Randall against Jackson. Randall inside. Five on the clock. Here's Fournier. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Fournier's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Remaining of the game. Burks against Moran. 151 left in the fourth quarter here. Basket counts. That's a high level finish for Moran, showing more strength than he's really giving credit for. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the division. John Moran. One shot. Free throw drops for Moran. And what really separates Moran? The intangibles. He has a great camaraderie with his teammates already. Randall against Jackson. Randall inside. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. Things can turn around in a hurry. I mean, can't they? Last quarter, he was lights out. All of a sudden, nothing. Nothing right. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Nichols. Down the way. Two shots. Shoot two. The first one falls. Yeah, and one thing that impresses me about John Moran is the leadership he exhibits. Loves the game, plays with toughness, and the results speak for himself. And so he hits both. And Chris, the drafting of Moran has accelerated the Grizzlies' rebuild. Even as they've gone young, they've remained competitive. Well, he's the face of the franchise, and I think his maturity and humility, uh, along with their other guys, is, is hoping to keep this Memphis team on track. This has not been his best quarter. Oh, just off his game, forcing a few shots, not letting the game come to him naturally. Pass to Bain. Here's Morant, just three to shoot. And again, Memphis no good. He had more than enough room to hit that, just couldn't make it happen. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Grizzlies. Man, the bench brought lots of energy tonight. <laughs> I'll tell you, when your reserves can score like that, it puts your team in a great position to win. And with another win in the bag, they've racked up 46 total on the year. And with just one game left to play between them, they've captured the first two meetings of the year. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Ja Moran. They needed someone to do the heavy lifting tonight, and he was their man, scoring every way he knows how. Randall can't hit. Now here's Moran. Memphis takes this one by a big margin. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Jaron, you've shown yourself to be an impact player at both ends of the floor, but is defense where it starts? Yeah, you know, the talking keeps me active, just being able to move my feet, being able to stay low on defense, you know, all those things keep me engaged. And when you do those things, you can make a big impact as the anchor of the team. And, you know, everybody else, they take pride in defense. So if I'm working with everybody else, it's great. Thanks, Jaron. Congrats on your success. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Chris Weber, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We thank you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.